JKPS is a key overlay program that I've been using for quite some time now. It's very customizable, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I personally set mine up to look like this, and also how to make the background transparent in OBS. Keep in mind that the way I'll be showing you guys here is obviously not the only way that you can set this key overlay up. In fact, on the forum post, if you scroll down, there's these pre-made themes that you can install very easily. Just click this link and you, all of these simple instructions, pick the one you want and you can just roll with that. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I personally set mine up. So first, obviously you download the program, scroll down to the bottom of the forum post, which is linked in the description and just download it, put it in a folder, it looks something like this and open it up. So first thing you probably want to do is change the keybinds, which you can do by right clicking one of these and just press whatever button you want and press the check mark. The top bar is where you actually input the button that you press. And then the bottom is where you tell it what you want it to like look like here. So for example, if you use number pad, you press number pad one, for example, the default text for it is num one, which looks kind of strange. So you can just click here and make it actually look like whatever you want. So that's very helpful. You just change it back to default. So to actually customize things. So when you open it, it gives you this config file, which I mean, you could technically change everything from here, but you probably don't want to do that. Instead, you click on the key overlay program and press control A. This opens this menu, which might not look much nicer, but it is it is quite nice to use, trust me. <laughs> Speaking of hotkeys also, uh, you can change other stuff or you can do other stuff. You can add and remove keys if you really want to, if you're playing Mania or something like that. But um, yes, anyway, so the first thing that I changed is I actually changed the font of the text on the right. So to do that, so first download the file, obviously font file. I'm using this one, I, link, I will link it in the description. Um, I like this font, I use it a lot. <laughs> uh, specifically, I'm using the medium version, but basically just download it and I will show you guys. So this is the install folder that I have already set up. And then you, well, I'll just copy this and then paste it in here. So font file, and then you go back to the settings and you just type the specific file name. Uh, and then as soon as I press enter, it changes the font there. Awesome. <laughs> okay, next thing that I changed in buttons text, I added the key KPS, like keys per second to the button itself instead of having the hotkey thing. So it, by default, it looks kind of weird because they're stacked on top of each other. You could offset it if you want, but I actually just got rid of the symbol thing. I just put space in this menu when, he, when you right click here and I just put space. Um, so that it's invisible. Um, that's just how I have mine set up, but yes. Anyway, so button graphics, next thing I changed is, so we're going to make the background black here instead of this gray. And when we do that, we don't want the button to also be black so, or like very close to black. So, uh, here change it to, I have mine set to 67, which is just slightly less dark, uh, animations, not doing anything main window. Okay. Yeah. So this is where we make the background actually black. So zero, 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 and also turn on the title bar. Uh, so you can close it without using the taskbar. That's very helpful. And then I also gave it, so in top, bonus size top, <laughs> give it 500. This gives it enough space to do the visualization, which is currently off, which we'll turn on next. Uh, extra KPS window, not doing anything here. And then, yeah, here. So turn this on. Awesome. Except uh, I changed mine a little bit. So I made mine a little slower, as you can tell. So mine is set to 45. And then the color, which I mean, you can make whatever you want, but I have mine to 154, 122, and 245. This is, oh, 245. There we go. Um, this is that purple color. And yeah, it looks pretty much the same. That is that is pretty much everything. Okay, so to actually add it to OBS. Uh, well, um, okay, welcome to OBS. <laughs> so let me close this one. This is the um, this is the one that we just set up. So let me just close this and close this. It just makes it easier to pick the specific window. So click new, add game capture. And oh, wait, Among Us, what the, okay, JKPS, I mean, just name it whatever you want. Okay, go. And then uh, capture specific window. You want to capture this, obviously. Uh, press OK. And there we go. So this black thing, this is, oh, let me, let me hide this. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm sure you guys know how OBS works. Okay, so what you want to do is go to filters and add a color key. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so we want to key out the black background that we made. So just slide this slider down when you select color. And uh, now it looks like this, which is uh, cool. But I changed mine a little bit. Um, I changed the similarity to 424 and I changed the smoothness to 91. I think it just makes it a little smoother. I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> so yes, this is what it looks like. Um, it looks nicer against the black background of an OC map, but I'll just move it. 
It just looks like, well, okay, let me minimize this too. Oh, wait, yeah, don't minimize it. <laughs> don't minimize it. Uh, if you minimize it, uh, it'll just freeze. Like, it's, it's not going to work. So uh, how I have mine set up is I just open this, and then I open Osu, which just ends up on top of it. And then it, yeah, it, it works fine. Um, anyway, so it, it would be something like this, right? And then, uh, so yeah, it looks like that. And then on my actual OBS, I have mine positioned. Well, I, I can show you guys how I move it. Oh, that that just looks super confusing. Never mind. <laughs> but I have mine positioned um, on like right above the combo, like in the top left corner. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>